He is risen. 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 In John 20, we see Mary Magdalene visit the tomb of Jesus after his death and burial. When she arrived, she found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. Initially, Mary and some of Jesus' disciples thought someone had stolen Jesus' body. However, Mary soon found out something even more incredible had happened. John 20, 11 through 18 says, Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white, seated where Jesus' body had been, one one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They they have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not recognize that it was Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, Tell me where he where you have put him and I will take and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold me do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and, and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord, and she told them that he had said these things to her. What looked like defeat to Mary, to the disciples, and to all the world was actually the greatest victory of all. Jesus was not dead. But Jesus did not escape death through some magic trick. No, in fact, Jesus overcame death and rose from the grave into a comeback victory like the world had never seen. There was no need for Mary to cry. Instead, Jesus commanded Mary to go and to go share the good news. He later commanded those that follow him to share the good news as well and to go and make disciples of all the nations. This is why we celebrate his miraculous comeback victory at Easter every year. It's the same reason why sports teams that win championships celebrate those victories forever, to remind their fans and followers of what is possible in the future because of what happened in the past. Have you ever been to a college or professional sporting event? Did you notice anything in the stadium that pointed to the championships the team had won in the past? Sports teams hang banners in their stadiums to tell the story of their victories to future generations. Sometimes this displays memorabilia or builds statues to celebrate these historic wins. In fact, the New England Patriots took it one step further. The Patriots reportedly took the 28-3 score they famously came back from at Super Bowl 51 and turned it into a symbol of victory. Their Super Bowl championship rings reportedly had 283 diamonds each in them, a symbolic note to their unlikely upset. In much the same way Christians have taken the cross, which once was a symbol of death, of defeat, and turned into a symbol of the miraculous victory of Jesus. When we look to the cross at Easter, We must remember that the cross once was once a recognized symbol of death and defeat. Jesus upended this and and turned it into a symbol of victory. This is why Christians celebrate the cross. In your own words, why do you think Jesus died on the cross?
Why is it so important for us to remember Jesus' death as well as his resurrection?
Dear Lord, thank you so much for this day that you've given us. Um, I would just like to thank you for dying on the cross for our sins, Lord, and that you rose again on the third day. I pray that you would continue to be with each and every one of us in our daily lives, that you would continue to grow us into the people that you want us to be, and that we would live our lives according to your will and what you have planned for us. Thank you so much for each and every blessing and for the fact that you take care of the situations and needs that are prayer requests. I pray that you'd help us have a great day. In Jesus' name, amen. Haley, what are you doing? I'm looking for crawdads for Jacob's birthday. Happy birthday, Jacob.